Hey guys, in today's lesson, I wanna show you three easy bar chord rock songs. Let's dig in. I'm Will Ripley, you're tuning into Campfire Guitar Star. All right, so as you heard me play there on the intro, that's Sitting on the Dock of the Bay by the great Otis Redding. And what you may have noticed is that I'm actually just using the same chord shape, but sliding it around. So let's dig in. I also want to go over a Red Hot Chili Peppers song, which is also the same as a Tom Petty song. So we're going to be learning three uh, rock guitar songs in this lesson, all of which are going to get your bar chords practiced up. Because here's kind of my philosophy with bar chords. First of all, yes, they are tough. Okay, so if you're challenged by them, if you're struggling with them, no worries, totally normal. Now, yes, there's all kinds of theory and you know, practice and things that we can do with bar chords, but the, at the end of the day, it's all about playing songs. So if you can get practice playing songs, and that's a really motivating, fun way to play, is by actually playing songs, then you're gonna just eventually get that hand strengthened up and get the position right and ultimately play some cool songs. So again, we're gonna go over Sitting on the Dock of the Bay, we're gonna go into Danny California and Last Dance with Mary Jane. So. Go ahead and grab the PDF for this lesson. You'll find that in the description below and the comments below. Um, that will have the chord shapes and all the tabs and everything that you need to go along with this lesson. So the classic bar chord shape, this is usually the one that everybody always learns first, okay? So in this case, I'm on third fret, which makes it a G major chord. Yes, technically exactly the same as that, and I'm sure you can hear it for yourself, right? There's a big similarity there, okay? And then that's because there's the same notes in here. So what you'll notice first to get a bar chord happening is my finger is hanging over the edge of this guitar, right? So a lot of people, and especially when you see a chord diagram, you may think that your finger needs to be flush. But at the end of the day, whatever works, man, whatever gets you that bar chord sounding clean and clear, then that's the right way to do it. And for me and for a lot of our one-on-one students um, and from doing teaching all these years, I found that not only for me, but for a lot of other people, if you hang your finger over the edge, that just gets all the strings, all six strings, sanding clean and clear. Okay, and you want to position these guys in this E chord shape. Okay, and maybe you know an E chord like this, but in the Otis Redding song, we're gonna be playing it like this, um, which is gonna slide up to a bar chord nice and easy, as you can see, rather than, this is the typical way of playing an E major chord, and if I'm to hop up to a bar chord, I gotta change all my fingers, right? And I may as well keep that the same. In this case, I'm gonna play an E major without my first finger, so I can slide that around. And you'll uh, see that move in quite a few songs where if there's an E major chord involved, it's almost always easier to play your E major chord like that without your first finger, so you can slip into another bar chord nice and quick and easy, okay? So, sitting on the dock of the bay, Let's just get the bar chords in position. So we've got third fret, bump it up to seventh fret. One more fret up to eighth fret. Okay, so that's really the big bulk of it, but then we've got this descending. Okay, so that's eight, seven, six, five. Okay, so again, we've got third fret bar chord, up to seventh, up to eighth. Eight, seven, six, five. Okay, so it's almost like you play that eighth fret twice because because that's the start of the descending pattern. Now, there's a couple of different strum patterns that you could do here, but definitely maybe you want to just pause the video right here. Just make sure that each one of those, again, all six strings, and just find that position for your hand. Whatever works, whatever gets you all six strings sounding clean and clear. So, um, for strumming, you could just do a classic um, down, down, up, up, down, up, which is known as the uh, classic folk strum pattern. So that sounds like this. Okay, so if you just try that on the first two chords, again, that's down, down, up, up, down, up, down. Why don't we just try between those two chords? Okay, so 
that's a big change. Um, and by the way, that kind of sounds like a Nirvana song and I can't quite place it. So if you also agree, drop that in the comments below. But anyways, what you'll notice there is that with that slide, we need to leave this chord early in order to get to that chord on time. And so how I'm doing that is I'm on the last upstroke, which is down, down, up, up, down, up. That's actually a simultaneous move. So I'm strumming up, yes, but I'm also sliding up to that seventh fret to get me in position so I can just hop right into the next chord right on time without killing the vibe, without killing the music. Okay, so again, one, two, ready, go. So that's the basic move. And if you're feeling like your hand's cramping, because I can feel it in my hand already, um, that's normal too, okay? Bar chords are a bit, of a bit of a workout like that. So always just keep that in mind. Your, your muscles may literally be getting fatigued, you know? So um, sometimes if you're playing your bar chords well and then they seem to just kind of get crappy as you keep on playing them, well, you might just need a break, okay? So anyways, <clears throat> and I always like to shake out my hand. It just kind of gets that lactic acid worked out or whatever's in there to make that crampy feeling. Anyways, so we've got that classic folk strum pattern which works and I'm just gonna go ahead and go through one time with it all the way through. One, two, ready, go. Okay, so we got C, start the strum pattern, uh, the folk strum pattern on, on the eighth fret. Down, down, up. It's kind of just like half of it. Down, down, up. Down, 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 down. Okay? And that's probably going to be the trickiest part. Just get your position, your fingers positioned in a way that they're all kind of leaning that way. And you might find that they just kind of roll nicely over those frets. And Strum pattern wise, again, with this tune is you can kind of make it more R&B or more funky and you can kind of really mess around with this, uh, with this concept of like chicka chickas or whatever you want to call it. Okay, and so that's simply just squeezing in into the fretboard and letting go. So the difference with this sound and this sound, right? So. Um, once you get the basic, like just understanding where those where those chords lie, right, and getting that one strum thing going on, So what I'm doing there is, okay, that guy right there. And we'll find this in the next tune that I'm going to teach you, Danny California by the Red Hot Chili Peppers. And that's a big, big move with guitar in general. And bar chords cannot be excluded from that technique. Okay, so it's kind of a simultaneous movement of lifting up that hand and getting this sound. But I'm thwacking the strings with my right hand to get a nice, strong, slam, a nice, strong uh, chicka chicka, okay? And so you can just try that for yourself, is just see if you can get a nice big sound, uh, big rhythmic sound. It almost like emulates a snare drum, okay? Doom, 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 right? So, um, So that would be the strum pattern for that. We got down, up, down, up, kick. Okay, so, and again, you can kind of mess around with it. Once you get that basic feeling of where the chords lie, you can kind of start messing around with some more rhythmic stuff. But, but even just that folk strum pattern will totally get you by. Or even just like I was doing before. You can totally sing along with that, right? So that would be the basic version of that 
you know, great song to get under your fingers to start practicing your bar chords. And yeah, just a super fun song. And then, like I said, you can kind of mess around with some of the rhythmic stuff and, and you can even kind of shorten that up and just have a ton of fun with that one. Okay, so now the next tune that I want to show you is kind of a hybrid between the Red Hot Chili Peppers' Danny California and um, the Tom Petty song, Last Dance with Mary Jane. And there was actually a bit of a, um, a feud between Tom Petty and the Red Hot Chili Peppers because when this song came out, people were like, hey, aren't those the same three chords to Last Dance with Mary Jane? And sure enough, they are. They're actually in uh, pretty much the same key. And so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you Danny California because what I love about this one is that we're actually gonna be able to utilize every single bar chord shape by playing the verse and the chorus of Danny California. And like I said, you'll be playing the verse to uh, Last Dance with Mary Jane by Tom Petty as well. So here's what it sounds like. What's great about this tune is not only is it a great tune, but you're gonna learn all four of your bar chord shapes. Okay, so there's two major shapes and there's two minor shapes. Okay, so what a bonus. Okay, also we're gonna layer the bonuses in on learning this song because you're also gonna be learning Last Dance with Mary Jane as well as Danny California by the Chili Peppers. Um, also, let me know what your favorite Chili Pepper song is in the comments below and what song maybe we should cover a future Chili Peppers or future Tom Petty song on the channel for a lesson. So let me know what those are for you. Um, okay, so as we were talking about before, we had this major shape, right, in sitting on the dock of the bay. But if you just take off that second finger, you can actually get the minor chord, minor bar chord. And it's all about that super sad note on the G string. And I find that especially having my finger hanging way over like it is, that is the key secret for myself and many of our one-on-one -on -one students of getting that bar chord sounding clear, okay? So we're also gonna do a cool rhythm that's really similar to Queen's We Will Rock You. Do, do, ksh, do, do, ksh. Okay, so we all know that one. And you can actually do that rhythm right inside of each one of these chords. And how I do that is I simulate the bass drum with the bottom strings. Okay, so that's roughly, and I really mean it's just roughly. I'm not like super uh, detailed and calculating which strings I'm hitting. It's just roughly the bottom three strings. And then the snare drum, the k, k, that sound is gonna be the top string. So again, roughly the top three strings. So there you go. There's the queen beat. So, we can do that queen beat on each one of these chords. So we've got our minor shape now, okay? And then you bump it down to the third fret. We're gonna add on that uh, second finger. So there's the sitting on the dock of the bay first chord, the G major chord, exact same rhythm. Now we're gonna integrate a new bar chord. We've got our, and this one looks really similar to that last one they were just on, but you're starting from a different string, therefore all the strings are different. Totally different chord. Yes, they look similar, but it's exactly like how an E major and an A minor look really similar, right? But they're absolutely totally different. E major, A minor, right? Totally different, they just kind of look the same. So, here it is, we've got, there's that chord, and of course, all these are gonna be tabbed out for you and charted out for you in that PDF download that we're providing you. So anyways, so those are the three chords, okay? And so what you wanna do is just get this nice basic rhythm, boom, 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 okay? And of 
course, we want to sync it up and make it musical to make everybody go like this, right? And also, you can shorten up each one of those by just doing a little pump. Just kind of engaging your fingers and disengaging. That will get that boom. Otherwise, it will sound like which doesn't sound bad, but if you want to get that really like um, cut off kind of sound, that's how I'm doing it. It's just lifting off my fingers. The difference between this and that, just like we were talking about in Sitting on the Dock of the Bay. So that is the verse to both Danny California and to uh, Last Dance with Mary Jane. Okay, so very, very similar couple of uh, few chords there. Now, the chorus is where we're gonna integrate our other bar chord shape. So we've got a minor chord now. We've talked a lot about this major chord, but we also have this minor chord, so that's cool. Now, the chorus, we've got four chords. The first one is gonna be a major bar chord on the first fret, okay? Okay, exact same shape we've talked about. But now, the second chord is gonna be our major chord, which we haven't seen yet in, in today's lesson. And the big thing here is we've just got, um, the bar is not happening with your first finger in this case. The bar is happening with your D, G, and B strings with your third finger, okay? And that's where the bar is happening for this bar chord. Okay, so there's your major chord on the, uh, like starting from the fifth string, your A string, right? And then we've already talked about this one. Here's our minor chord starting from the fifth string or your A string. Okay, and we found that in the verse. And then our fourth chord of the sequence is we're gonna go into a G major. The sitting on the dock, the bay chord, okay? Third fret, major bar chord shape. We've seen that one in today's lesson already. So those four chords again are F major. First fret, bar chord, sixth string. C major, major chord on the uh, third fret of the A string. D minor, which is your minor bar, bar chord shape starting on the fifth fret of the A string. And then our fourth chord is G major, your major bar chord shape starting off the sixth string, all right? So we can actually do a very easy rhythm here. Like short, uh, sorry, long, long, short, short, long, long, short, short, long, long, right? So pretty basic rhythm. That would get uh, the, you know, just the movements happening and getting you practiced up on those. Um, the Chili Peppers, of course, they're playing it more advanced with a lot of energy, a lot of rhythm, you know, the kind of a funkiness to it. Some of those chicka chickas in between. Um, which surprisingly become very natural once you get some of these basics down. And then you can just kind of unleash the musical ability that's been locked in you forever and ever. And, and it just kind of, it actually becomes really easy to, uh, to release it. So um, at full bore intensity, it might sound something like this. And slower. Back to the verse. Right back to that we will rock you. Okay, so to recap, we went over the Otis Redding tune sitting on the dock of the bay, which is great because we'll get our hand uh, starting to be comfortable in this awkward bar chord shape, right? So we'll start getting it comfortable and we'll start getting it comfortable moving around. Okay. All right. And then we bumped forward and we're going to massively accelerate you into learning four bar chord shapes, all four of them, the two major ones and the two minor ones. And that's going to happen. We've got 
our major here and our minor here. And then we've got our major here and our minor here, okay? And, and we sprinkled those out like this. So we've got an A minor to a G major to a D minor back to an A minor. Okay, and that was the verse of Danny California, which is uh, synonymous with uh, the Last Dance with Mary Jane by Tom Petty, okay? And then we've got this D minor connector to switch from the verse to the chorus to F major to C major to D minor to G major, and we repeat that. And then same thing, you can do this D minor connector back into the verse. So I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. Make sure to grab that PDF. Leave a thumbs up if you think the lesson deserved it. Drop me a comment below. Let me know your favorite Red Hot Chili Peppers, your favorite Otis Redding tune, and your favorite Tom Petty song. Um, and yeah, and just let me know how you made out with the lesson. Hopefully you're seeing the potential of getting your bar chords practiced up by playing some cool songs. And of course that was my intent with today's lesson. And in the month of October, we're doing something really special at Campfire Guitar Star. So maybe you've tuned in to some of our live lessons in the past. Well, we're, those are only available for all Access Pass members. But for the month of October, we're making these totally free and on the house so you can demo what it's like to do a live stream group lesson with all kinds of other students uh, all over the world, of course, led by myself and Mike B at Campfire Guitar Star. And so this is a great opportunity to get some personal guidance and to have some questions answered and also just dig in on the cool topics in acoustic, electric, blues, rock, you know, everything in between. So uh, for the month of October, you can join these live stream lessons and by getting on the mailing list, you'll, uh, and you can do that through the PDF below or anywhere on campfireguitarstar.com. That will get you tuned in to the live stream lessons where you can reserve a spot and get notified when we're going live. And you can hop into those lessons, try them out for yourself, and hopefully you'll see the potential of these and how fun they are and, and how you're just able to advance your guitar playing every single time that you take a live stream lesson. And if you do, then you might want to consider becoming an all access pass member of the Campfire Guitar Star community. And there's way too much value here to list right here on this call, but just join a live stream lesson. That's a huge part of it. Um, we also have other courses, which you'll get access to and a members only Facebook group, which you'll be able to get access to. So there's all kinds of really great bonuses. And I'm really trying to make a wicked platform for you as a guitar player to get access to everything you need and just get your questions answered and ultimately just how you can get this thing in your life and start ripping it up. So until the next lesson, leave a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell, drop me a comment below, head on over to campfireguitarstar.com, uh, get that PDF. So just take action now on something so that we can continue making you a better guitar player. Thanks for tuning in and we'll catch you in the next lesson.